hello guys welcome to this tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to create this comic shader inside godot's game engine okay so if you want to create this just watch this video till the end so the first thing you're gonna do is to set up your scene i set up a very simple scene you all should probably know how to do this okay it's very simple just import your match and um, whatever so now let's jump in the first thing we're gonna add a material you go to surface material you click shader material okay you click it right again and you choose new visual shader okay not new shaders but new visual shader great let's click on that and this is what we see initially okay now let's start defining our shaders the first thing we're gonna need is um the fresh fresh nail okay fresh nail right here by the way this is gles2 all right it's also works in gls3 but i just prefer to use gls2 so it's up to you anyway so i'm going to drag this fresh nail over here and you can see that it looks a lot like uh, this okay it's kind of like uh, I don't know rim lighting or something <laughs> anyway so next thing I'm gonna do is add a less than node alright just drag and drop drag and release this um, output socket and type in less than you should see a node like this so let's drag it and see what it looks like drag it into the albedo okay let's type in the value point two okay by the way you will need to change this flag to um go to the flag settings here and you uncheck you check um shade um unshaded sorry you check unshaded it has to be unshaded for it to look like a comic great so i'm going to reduce this value from 0.2 to 0.1 okay i think we need to go higher let's go 0.5 okay 0.5 seems to be almost there almost there let's go 0.6 okay i think 0.55 should be great good now the next thing we're gonna do is use another type of shader oh, sorry not shader we're gonna use another type of texture this um uv this one is called a uh, screen uv okay just type in screen and this is what you get okay no not this one okay go to add just type in the um just type in inputs great this is what it looks like look for screen uv where is it where is it okay this is it screen uv you drag this output socket let's type in decompose vector you look for it vector decompose great and now we are going to um, drag this y value and multiply it is going to be a float so multiply it let's type in the value um, for now let's go 800 and now you use a sign function let's type in sign you should see sign here not a sign but sign yeah or sin whatever we're not seen as though <laughs> anyways scene and uh, let's see what it looks like let's drag it let's drag it okay this is what it looks like i think we should go um let's um, use less than again less than less than zero all right okay i think i need to reduce this 
two let's go 400 okay let's go 200 okay let's go 300 i think this is okay good the next thing we need to do is duplicate this guy Control D this guy we actually used to create the outline we will duplicate that okay and we will see what it looks like okay this is what it looks like at the moment let's increase this value 0.3 let's go lower 0.1 uh, let's see 0.2 there we go point two looks fairly okay good now we will have to do something we are going to um, um, subtract okay you know what we're not even going to use um, the less down we're going to use greater down so that way it's inverted okay Good. The next thing we are going to do is subtract. So we're going to subtract this guy with this guy here. Let's see what it looks like. Now it looks like this. Okay. We are getting close. We are getting close. Um, it's important to clamp this. Okay. Because we could have a greater and lower value so let's clamp it just type in clamp let's see what it looks like once again okay is it looks virtually the same but we actually clamp some values that are greater than one or less than zero so good next thing we're gonna do is to invert this color to do that we're going to subtract we're going to subtract it into one okay let's drag and drop this socket we subtract one and now it's inverted basically okay good the next thing we're gonna do is um, multiply we'll multiply the outline with this guy we just plugged in and then we plug it right here good now you can see this is getting even closer to what we actually wanted now let's go ahead and and customize some some um, stuff so this 300 we're going to change it to let's say 600 okay this is what it looks like much much better okay now just to make it possible to customize our color i'm going to use another node this one is called a vector multiply okay just type in multiply or vector okay let's just type in multiply multiply you see it right here vector multiply by the way if you see an output or an input socket with a light blue color that simply means a float and with a light purple color that's a vector okay it has three values as you can see these two guys are different okay they are basically multiply but one has three values the other has just one okay that's because this guy is a vector and this guy is a float or a scalar so we're going to multiply and plug it right here now we'll just add in our color we're going to use a color uniform in this case color uniform and i'll show you why in a moment we'll use a color uniform we'll drag and drop it right here and now we can set our default color to what we want and um, boom there we go looking all nice okay so this is basically how you create your comic shader this is basically how i create comic shader in godot okay you can see just how powerful 
cheaters can be all right i hope you learned something guys so by the way that i'm not done with the tutorial yet i just want to show you what the node looks like and this is what the node looks like okay in case you are curious to see what the node looks like this is what the node looks like okay good that's that's what the node looks like the next thing that i'm going to do is show you something okay i'm going to show you something the reason we actually use a color uniform is so that we can customize the color without having to go back to the shaders okay so that is just one useful feature with color uniform you can be able to customize the color outside the um the the shader editor okay so let's make it blue we can make it blue green red purple whatever okay so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial and i'll see you in another video thank you and goodbye don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like share the video thank you so much for watching the video thank you so much